beach for? I like to watch the people. I like that girl over there. This guy Crane owns the Malibu Beach Club. He cheats playing cards and then he strong arms the losers into paying. I want to know. Don't give us away. We're on a case. Undercover. Incognito? No, just in disguise. His name is Nelson. He works for the Beverly Hills Patrol. Make sure Nelson doesn't get back to the house. Frank, you're gonna be for fifty thousand dollars today, not to mention the two hundred thousand you already owe me. I haven't had a streak of bad luck like this in years. Well, maybe you're not very good at cards. Or maybe you're cheating. Well, I think you owe me an apology. I owe you nothing, Crane. Now, you bled me dry long enough. Now, I know you've got some kind of a scam going here, and I'm going to find out what it is. Frank, I can understand why you're upset, but your luck is bound to change. Yes. When you were behind bars, were you belong? Shouldn't someone teach Mr. Norton a little lesson in manners? Oh, sure. Please have a talk with Mr. Norton. Let's have a word with you. Get away from me. You should really learn how to act in front of people. It's not nice to call someone like Mr. Crane a cheater. We're going to be guarding one of the most valuable art collections in the world. Chester says it's our job to make sure nothing happens to it. Hi, uh, Beverly Hills Patrol. We're here to watch Mr. Lawrence's house. Rocky Nelson and party. That's us. Okay. This is it. Oh, Rocky, it's beautiful. And just think, only 3,746 miles that way is China. 
I wonder how the egg rolls stay fresh coming from that far. come to the beach for? I like to watch the people. They're different from the people you see at work every day. I like that girl over there. Welcome, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, what's your name? Nancy Norton. Rocky Nelson, nice. Hi. Oh, <laughs> oh so uh, listen, go up to the house. The girl's name is Annie. Uh, she'll take care of you. Uh, we throw these bozos in the water? Uh, oh, take it what do you want to do, pollute the ocean? Take them up to the house. We'll turn them over to the cops. Uh, uh. Feeling better now? Much better. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. So are you okay? Fine, thank you. What happened with these guys? They wouldn't take no for an answer. Girl walks around the beach topless. And you can't blame us, can you? You sure that's all? Yeah, that's all. You know, I might be able to help you if you tell me what really happened. I told you. Come on, you don't expect me to believe that little charade that went on in there, do you? I saw the way you and those guys were looking at each other. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, those guys are pros. Whoever they're working for might not give up that easy. You want to tell me who it is? It's Arthur Crane. See. Si. He owns the Malibu Beach Club. A few years ago, I posed for some nude photos. I needed the bread. He kept the negatives. Now, how'd he get his hands on? He owns a lot of businesses. One of them is a photography studio. Anyway, I'm getting married in a couple of months, and I don't want my fiancé to know about this. Crane wants to charge me a fortune. I can't afford it. So I checked out the office to see if they were there. And that's when those two goons caught me. I don't understand. Why didn't you just call the police? I couldn't prove a thing. Besides, he's Mr. Great around here. Who's going to believe me? I really wish there was something I could do. If only I could get to him. Try one more time to make him understand just how important this is to me. I don't think he'd listen after these two guys tell him what you did. Well, there's a party at the club this afternoon. Maybe you could help me get in. Then I could talk to him. It is by invitation only, though. It's no problem. I could probably do that. I think I should talk to him anyway. I mean, uh... Blackmailing is a crime. Rocky! What about the those guys? Here. Don't worry about them. 
I'll take care of it. After what they just went through, they could use a little vacation, huh? I'll be right back. Officer. Deputy Sheriff. Oh, excuse me, Deputy Sheriff. See you. Sorry, Deputy. Listen, I'd like you to cooperate with me on behalf of the department. My Malibu Sheriff's Department? No, 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 no. Beverly Hills Police Department. Uh-oh, here we go again. <laughs> we are out of your jurisdiction. Well, what's the difference? I mean, whether we protect people in Beverly Hills or Malibu, right? I guess so. I'm working on a major case. I want you to tie these two guys up for 24 hours. Don't let them use the phone. I don't want to talk to anybody. I can't keep them at the sheriff's station. We'll send them to Beverly Hills. They'll get tied up in their bureaucracy. Well, listen. Hey, uh, Hold I... You know Lieutenant Hamill? Yeah, Clarence. He's a good friend of mine. He is? Yeah. No problem. Use Clarence's name. They'll cooperate with you fully. There'll be no problem. 24 hours. Come on, I would do it for you guys. Come on, huh? You gotta stick together. Okay, come on, let's go. Call him right away. Why? You miss him. I do? Yes, trust me. You miss him madly. Get him here right away, okay? I gotta get him out of Beverly Hills. Okay. There's no way we can get into Crane's club without an invitation. Don't worry, I can do it. Okay, looks fine. Enjoy. Just pull it up there. Thank you for the invitation. Go on into the party. It's not broken. Nobody's gonna know that. Hang on a minute. Whoa. <clears throat> Hi, you going to the Crank party? Yes, we are. You know, this doesn't seem to be my day for foreigners. My German car broke down. I borrowed my Japanese gardener's car and it seems to have died. <laughs> and here we are, stranded in Malibu. How about a lift in? Pop in. Thanks. Trixie! Ever plan to motor west? Travel my way, take the highway, that's the best. Get your kicks on Route 66. It winds from Chicago to LA. More than 2,000 miles all the way. Get your kicks on Route 66. Nice crowd, Mr. C. A couple of bad losers here today. Just make sure they don't start any trouble. Well, if they don't like losing, they shouldn't sit down in the first place. Fortunately for me, the human animal has an inborn drive to win, even if it takes his life savings to try. Hey, you go through St. Louis. Joppa, Missouri, and Oklahoma City looks mighty pretty, you'll see. Amarillo, <laughs> Gallup, <laughs> Just like in the movies, huh? People hear about as real as the images on film. Hmm. I believe you're having a good time. How can I? And he's standing right over there. It's the king of the Malibu Colony Yacht Club, huh? Waiter. I think I'll go over and meet him. Be right back. Get your on 66. Get your kicks on Route 66. The club is going to be quite crowded tomorrow. There's a tournament over at the Malibu Golf Club. All the participants will be coming here for brunch. Excuse me. Uh, can anybody go to the brunch or do you have to be in the tournament? No, but you have to be a member. Are you a guest? Well, uh, in a way, I'm uh, with Travel USA. I'm here with Doug and Babs. Yeah, I just heard so much about this club. Very impressive. It's really terrific here. Look out! Get the girl! Yes, sir. You go to the right, I'll head her off here. Right!
you executioner Malibu. Quick, this bed. You might fit up there, but I'm never gonna make it through that small space. Tell me what really happened. What's this all about, Nancy? I did tell you the real story. Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? No worse than before. That's what you think. You just tried to shoot somebody. That's attempted murder. He deserved it. Maybe you never heard of it, but they have something called the jury that decides who deserves what. And oh yeah, there's judges still. Go ahead, turn me in. I don't care. He ruined my father's life. Well, your father takes new photos too? I made up that whole story so you'd help me. Well, I don't like being an accessory to attempted murder. I really never intended to kill him. I just wanted to scare him bad enough to get his hooks out of my father. That man is a vulture. My father's lost over $200,000 to Crane. Playing cards. Then you ever hear of Gamblers Anonymous? My father's been playing cards all his life. He's managed to stay about even. But when he plays somebody who cheats... How do you know he's cheating? There's no question about it. Rocky, my father's a respected jeweler. He's taken orders for jewelry, lost the money, and now he can't deliver. He even took a second mortgage on the shop. The bank will take that. Everything. Leave him with nothing but disgrace. Don't worry, I'll think of something. I'll help you. And see, this one looks like her lips are sewn together. Well, that's not the Look who's here, Rocky. Hey, Clarence. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to see you, I think. Nancy, this is Lieutenant Hamill, one of Beverly Hills' finest. Hi. Well, thank you, Rocky. Hi. Wow, I've heard about Mr. Lawrence's art collection. Hello? This is Sergeant Booker, Beverly Hills Police. I've got a deputy from Malibu on the line. I want to patch him through to Lieutenant Hamill. Uh, I'm sorry, you can't. Why not? He's on a very confidential mission. Tell the deputy that. But if it's confidential... Uh... Well, it's okay. The lieutenant wants him to know that. Tell him those are his orders. Yes, sir. Rocky, I heard that. What's this all about? This guy Crane owns the Malibu Beach Club. He cheats playing cards, and then he strong arms the losers into paying. I want to nail him. You wouldn't be planning on doing anything illegal, would you, Rocky? Moi? What are you going to do, Rocky? He said he owed me one. I'll ask him for a job. Mr. Crane, I just wanted to thank you for the job. Well, it's the least I can do for you saving my life. That's all right. Listen, I'm really an actor, you know. I just work for Travel Magazine part-time. That's where I read about this place. Well, anybody who is anybody in Malibu is a member. We have a waiting list thicker than a phone book. I know that. That's why I wanted to work here so bad. You never know who I might meet. Help me with my acting career, you know? You know, I wish you'd caught that girl. I'd like to know who she was. Yeah, me too. I almost had her. But uh, her accomplice is somebody whacked me in the head. Listen, can I ask you another favor? Oh, fine. What is it? Well, I got these friends of mine. Uh, their agents beat them out of some money, and uh, they need jobs, too. And these are good people? Oh, I wouldn't associate with them if they weren't. Well, there's no problem. I'll call Julian, my manager. We'll find something for them. That's great. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah. Mr. Martin, uh, I've always wanted to visit this place. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It's uh, very nice. Well, Chester, after lunch, we'll go swimming, get some sun, a little workout. I mean, just a little. Then we'll enjoy the view. <laughs> I don't mean the ocean. On second thought, 
Well, forget about lunch and the sun and the swimming and the exercise and go right to the good stuff. <laughs> okay? Yeah. We call it Evening in Paris. <sighs> For those romantic times. How much is it, my dear? Um, oh, um, let me check. Chester, you're not paying her enough money. That's why she has to take a second job. Is that right, Annie? Um. So, Chester, uh, being part owner of the Beverly Hills Patrol, I hate to see one of our employees having to take a second job just to make ends meet. Would you think you should give her a raise? Well, thank you, Mr. Martin. Mwah. And thank you, Chester. Mm -hmm. What else can go wrong? A perfect day, this is not. Don't you feel better that your employees are happy? You too? Same goes for them. Please. Mr. Mark, don't give us away. We're on a case. Undercover. Incognito? No, just in disguise. Chester, I guess you're in it too. Are you supposed to be a guest? I am a guest. Should have given him more thought, Chester. What are you talking about? Those clothes. What's wrong with my clothes? You gotta look the part. Doesn't make the grade at all, Chester. Just look like you belong. Maybe nobody will notice how you're dressed. Hey, Mr. Martin. Lucky, Chester. what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just picking up some extra money. Am I going to have to give him a raise, too? Of course. Sounds good to me. Hey, listen. Get beach towels are ready. Anytime you guys want to go. Have a good time. What's wrong, Chester? I must be dying. My whole life is passing before my eyes. It worked, Rocky. It worked. I got Chester's checkbook. Great, Annie. Now go back to the house and take Hamill for a nice long walk. Okay. What are you doing? See if the old hands are still in shape. Crane won't even go into a game unless he's sure he's playing someone with a lot of money. Yeah? That's taken care of. I'm worried though, Rocky. What for? Even if Crane didn't cheat, he must be an awfully good card player. Really? As good as this? Six of clubs. King of spades. 
Four of clubs. Three of diamonds. Rocky, you are magic. When I was a cop, I worked bunko back in New York for two years. That's why I first learned to hate cheaters. You just let the old fire horse out of the barn. That's all. Mr. Fowler, Mr. George Fowler. The music's playing. Mr. Fowler, Mr. George Fowler. I hope Bo's not making his move too early. I didn't find out how Crane cheats yet. Don't worry, Bo has. You sure? Bo said he'd bet every penny Chester owns was on that. Well, if he's wrong, that's exactly what he's doing. Paging Mr. Fowler? Yeah, right here. Thank you. Hmm. Problem at one of the plants, aren't there? Sorry, I'm gonna have to leave. Well, it's too bad. We'll have to finish another time. Not too bad for me, the way your luck's running. See you. Hey, Mr. Crane, you're not taking a break yet, are you? Uh, I suppose so, until I can find a new player. Hey, you got one right here. <laughs> don't be silly, I don't want to take your money. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me who really wants to play it. It's uh, Chester Long. Remember that wealthy guy that Mr. Martin brought by yesterday? Uh, <laughs> he said you play gin like his Aunt Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> he said what? As a matter of fact, he said his Aunt Tilly is 75 years old. <laughs> I told Mr. Long to get his butt over here and put it right down in that chair. Well, he had to go to work, but he said anybody could beat you, even me. I don't want your money. I want his. Well, he figured you'd say that. So he gave me this blank check, but he said you have to play for cash. Well, why not? I'm not going to lose any. Hey, okay. Well, uh, I don't have to change the play, do I? What for? I'm going to win all your money and go right back to work. Okay. Shouldn't take long at all. Not so good at this. Well, we can help you out. Go ahead, let's see how you deal. Jim. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I guess Mr. Long made a mistake. Yeah, a very costly one. How much did he say he could lose? We didn't. But uh, Mr. Martin told me to stop at 100,000. Quite a deal. Stay long. Why don't we just double the stakes? I don't think that's a very good idea. You know, Mr. Long said uh, as soon as I won a hand that you would chicken out. Uh, oh, so he's really baiting him, huh? Deal. Okay. Oh, good. That's the game. Uh -huh. Thousand. 
Maybe you should wear your lucky sunglasses. <laughs> this is my day. I think I should cut my losses. Well, listen, if you want to get even real fast, we should raise the stakes. Or you can have all your friends and Mr. Long clucking every time you walk by. Chicken. <laughs> Chicken. Right, one more round. 10,000 a game, 500 a point. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. I knock with one. What is that? A quarter of a million dollars. Two hundred fifty thousand. You know, I have to admit, Mr. Cray, you're a hell of a sport. A real good loser. Hell of a guy. It's been a pleasure. See you around. Yeah, we ran the check. His name is Nelson. He works for the Beverly Hills Patrol. He's out here guarding the Lawrence house. Well, then he's a plant. He did jump in here kind of quickly. But they called in a loan on the Mexican land deal. With a devaluation of the peso, I need cash now. Now, wait a minute, Lawrence. Lawrence, he's got that fabulous art collection. Yeah. Make sure Nelson doesn't get back to the house. This is a perfect opportunity to pick up some very valuable paintings. Mm-hmm. Nelson will be back in a moment. Rocky, I got four words for you. Picasso, Monet, Chagall, Rubens. Do you realize that Bo, Kurt, and Annie were sent here as representatives of the Beverly Hills Patrol and now under your protection everything is gone? We're just helping out, Nancy. You were paid to guard the house, not help Nancy. Nothing personal. What are you talking about, nothing personal? Of course it is. Her father's in the hospital because of this guy, Crane. And now this. I just know he's got the paintings, too. All right. We'll call the police. Hold it, hold it. What about what you just said? Beverly Hills Patrol is responsible. What are you going to say to your customers? All right. You tell me, little shot. What are we going to do? I'll tell you in a minute. Let me make a phone call first. Malibu Sheriff Station. Hi, it's me, Nelson. Listen, Mr. Nelson, you don't have to worry about those two guys. They're lost in the Beverly Hills system. Great. You're doing a great job, really. 
terrific. That's why I'm going to send you two more guys to take care of the same way. Get the two guys stranded at Trancus Rock. Listen, I tried to call Clarence Hamill. Can't reach him. Oh, uh, he's not going to surface until the rest of us do. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Everything's going according to plan. Malibu is real nice. Thank you. I'm glad you asked me out here. Don't you have to get back to work? <laughs> I'm sick. You lied? Of course not. I have three years sick leave built up and the department just wanted me to take a little time off. You know, you're so dedicated. So? So? So aren't you gonna read my palm or something? I really don't know why Rocky doesn't like me. Me neither. After all, personality isn't everything. Just kidding. It's my beeper. But we gotta go back. I've got to call headquarters, okay? Okay. Okay, let's go to the house. It's too far, let's go to a public phone. The early spring cleaning of the Lawrence Beach House was successful. What's our next move? Now look, it's too risky to hang around here now that Nelson knows how I won the card games. So contact our men at the pier. Make sure my speedboat's ready for a quick exit. And alert the bank in Mexico that I'll be coming in for a huge withdrawal. Right. Uh, what about the four guys that are missing? Well, Nelson's probably behind their disappearance. At any rate, we have bigger problems than them. Now you get everything rolling. Yeah, Crane. Listen, I know you got the paintings from the Lawrence house. I'll give you the money I won, you give me back the artwork. Well, look, those paintings are worth much more than $250,000. Paintings that recognizable are pretty hard to fence, pal. What are you gonna do, hold an auction? I thought you wanna leave town pretty fast. What do you wanna do, you wanna deal or not? What'd you have in mind? Meet me in the parking lot at Malibu Park, five o'clock. You just make sure you're alone. I wouldn't have it any other way. I want to be there with you. No way. He put my father in the hospital. Listen, this guy's desperate. You never know what he's going to do. I'm not taking any chances. I'm sorry. I just called Crane. I told him I'd give him the money for the paintings. You trust him? No. So what are you going to do? I want to meet him. It's all right. I'll go along. You guys can stay here. He's not alone. I'm gonna cover him every way but loose. Lieutenant Hamill, sir. In Malibu, uh, yes, I am. You have what? Officer who? Nelson. Four men in custody, and they haven't been booked yet. Undercover, huh? Look, I'll have to get back to you, sir. In my name. Anything wrong, Clarence? Oh, nothing. It's just that I seem to have authorized the detention of four desperate men. Well, you're terrific. It wasn't me who did it. It was Rocky. Where are you going, Clarence? I'm going to find Rocky. Where is he? Well, I don't know. I think he could be busy. Who knows where he could be? I bet Nancy knows, and she's going to tell me where to find him. I give you the word. Now we're gonna catch this guy red-handed. All right, look alive. He's driving up now. Where's all this stuff? Coming along. I just wanted to see if you were alone. I trust you like you trust me. Here's the artwork. Where's the money? I'll show you mine when you show me yours. Hmm. 
and wired all the pennies to the detonator. this button and all that artwork goes up like the 4th of July. I thought you said you trusted me. I lied. No tricks, Rocky. You don't have anything that can stop that signal beam. If I show you the money, will you keep your finger around the button? Where is it? Over there. What are you stopping for? Where's the money? You sure you don't want to negotiate? I warn you, Nelson. You try anything. Anything at all. The game is over, Craig. You asked for it. Good work, Caster. It's okay, Rocky. The truck stopped the signal. You know what you did to me by using my name, Rocky? Oh. You tell your friends this lady is dead. If any of them try to move in on me. Oh, Kurt, I need you. Come on. Notify the sheriff's office. Oh. You can't get away with this. Can't you catch up? If I get any closer, he's liable to see us and I'll hurt Annie. Yes, sir. How do I make it go? Just push that throttle forward. This it? Where's the brakes? There are no brakes. How do I stop it? How many times must I tell you, babe? How many bridges I've got to cross? How many times must I explain my fear?
just wanted to come by and thank everybody here for everything you've done for me. Maybe we should celebrate. You know, have dinner or something. I'd love to. But I can't. I have to pick my father up. He's being discharged from the hospital today. Well, anytime you need help, you know, you can always count on the Beverly Hills Patrol. Thank you. And I'll see you later. Bye. Goodbye. Well, I have to admit it, Rocky, you did a hell of a job. All of you. Yeah, that was exciting working undercover. <laughs> Next time, count me out. I got a so arm from carrying all those dishes. <laughs> hey, Hamill, you look great. Things must be pretty good in the law enforcement game, huh? Well, my friend, the deputy sheriff, received a commendation for assisting in ridding Malibu of Arthur Crane and his scam. What about you, Clarence? Oh, uh, I received one, too, for keeping Crane's henchmen out of the way. Out of the way to go, Hamill. Ah! What's the matter? My sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> Hello.